Hello everyone, my name is Epidude and today I'm going to be showcasing my base that I made in the modpack Create Above and Beyond. Uh, anyways, let's get started. The first thing I want to show off is my windmill that I made. This is my starter base, uh, the base that I built first. Um, this is where my main storage room is and where I craft all my items. I have my diving gear which I use to swim, smithing table, the brewing stand, uh, all sorts of stuff that you need to play Minecraft. This is the middle room. This is where I use my mechanical press to press ingots into sheets, my mixer in order to mix items, and my. Uh, wait, what's it called? My millstone that I use to grind, uh, for example, wheat down into flour and make bread out of it. And uh, this is where I can use uh, fans in order to process items. Here I can wash things, here I can melt things, and here I can smoke things. If we go up here, we come into the attic where I have a bunch of gears that uh, I need to use in order to make things go faster. If you can see here, the windmill is rotating kind of slow. But I utilize a bunch of gears and gear ratios in order to make it spin faster. Anyways, let's continue to the other side of the base. I made a beautiful cherry tree here, which I think looks absolutely amazing. Let's continue down here. This is where I have my cat farm and my clay farm. Right now, it doesn't generate any clay because these things, these trainers need sifters um, and I don't have any, they've all run out of durability but if it was on you would see sand uh, coming here and just launching across all the way over here where they then get washed into clay as you can see here there's no clay right now because it's off but it would be if it was on this is my kelp farm it makes kelp as you could guess, this thing goes around, collects all the kelp, puts it in the system, and then uh, it launches up into there and goes into this machine right here, which makes alcohol brick. As you can see here, the alcohol bricks then get taken and goes all the way over here into my system that makes kinetic mechanisms. Um, the, this thing gets uh, andesite from uh, this thing, which is basically just a system that uh, uh, goes down and collects andesite from uh, my andesite generator that I have down here. Um, I have to use an elevator to get down. So let's go down here and let's check it out. This is where I have my outside generators. The reason I have it done here is because it needs a bedrock. Basically, they um, generate. You can generate one of four blocks. Uh, create has four different stone types. Outside is the one I want. So sometimes it generates that, and then it gets pushed along by this fan, and it gets on this launcher that launches it into this um, conveyor belt. As you can see, all the four of them launch, uh, launch their stuff into this conveyor belt, which then gets put into this form. As you can see there, the end side then gets put into this minecart loader, and the minecart with the chest takes items, goes around to there, and it goes up in the elevator. Or, well, the chest, the. How should I put this? There's a chest there, and I have a pulley that it takes the chest up into my factory that makes kinetic mechanisms. And we're up again. But kinetic mechanisms also need wood and that's and I get the wood from over here. That is my sawmill which I use to make the wooden slabs that I need in order to make this. Where I get the wood from is right here. Uh, this is my tree farm. It goes around, uh, it saws the trees, and then it gets put into here, which then gets put down here, and as you can see, they go right up there, uh, onto this treadmill, 
let's put into this chute and uh, uh, right now it goes into here in order to make money I can actually sell this for money which I can use uh, for other things but otherwise it would go here into this which then saws it into stripped um, strip logs then gets made into okun then gets made into slabs which then gets uh, put in that minecart with the chest all the way over here which then gets put into the factory. The last thing that I wanted to show off is my uh, ore processing system and my smelter. Um, here, my smelter is where I make all my tools. I have this uh, mattock and this pickaxe that I named Holdiger. Uh, you put in a bunch of materials and you make alloys and all the, all the things that you make. And this is my ore processing system. You basically put your ores in here they go up into this chute, they get milled in with this millstone, which then gets put into this seared melter. Um, this red block of redstone sends a redstone signal to this faucet, which automatically outputs the melted ingots into this uh, cast, which then turns the melted ore uh, into ingots, and then it gets output in here. Then there is also this thing. This is a thing that me makes use of arboreal extractors, which extracts tree sap from these uh, dark oaks. The tree sap, um, as you can see, it goes out here. It gets turned into rubber. The mechanical press presses down on it, and it makes rubber. And then I have this fan that um, puts out an airflow by this lava, which then makes so that things that go into here they get. Uh, melted. So when the rubber goes out, it gets put into this and it gets cured into cured rubber. Anyways, that's it for my base showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all another time. Goodbye!